Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading for June 18th through the 24th. This is for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon or Rising or Venus. And I'd like you to um, keep in mind that this reading may not resonate with you. Okay, it may or it may not. The timing is fluid, so this could have happened, could be happening now, or it could be happening in the future. Please keep all negative comments out of the thread. Okay, so any negative comments, I don't care if you if you tell about a ne negative experience, I just don't want to hear about the, I don't want you to write that other sign down there in those comments, okay? Just keep that, that sign out of there. Okay, because just because one person of that sign is that way doesn't mean the rest of them are. Okay, so this is for the sign of Sagittarius. 18th through the 24th. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. Oh, there you are. Finding your confidence, finding your courage, finding your strength, taking the lead. Oh, <laughs> I spoke too fast. <laughs> Contradictory. Complete contradiction of the words that just came out of my mouth. Absolute contradiction. It's time to free yourself from that mentality, don't you think? It's time to free yourself from the mentality of not being strong enough. <laughs> it's time to get out of your thoughts, get out of your head. It's time to stop worrying. Sagittarius, find that confidence that is within you. Look at this as a time of liberation and freedom and happiness instead of a time of lack. Some of you may, maybe your pride has been hurt. Your self-esteem. That's a test. You're being tested. Your self-worth and your self-love is being tested right now. It's your choice. It's your choice. Whatever path you take in life is your choice. If you choose to be stuck in your ego self and let other people's words and opinions hold you back, then that's your choice. It's your choice. You have an opportunity to go down a new path, to, to look at things differently. You do. You do. You have two options. Two options. That's the basis of your reading. Two options, okay? Let's just clear this up. You can be weak or you can be liberated. Which is it going to be? The strength is within you. It is. It is. I feel as though there has been some sort of suffering that has happened because of somebody's harsh words or comments or happenings. Somebody has done something, they've said something, they've, they've shown you their true colors. 
and you've let that hold you back. You've let you've taken it to heart. This is absolutely a test. There's absolutely no doubt about it. I feel it. I know it. You are being tested. You are being tested. This is a run of bad luck that you have run into so that you could find that strength. You need to find the strength and the courage and the self-love and the self-respect and the self-confidence to prevail over a situation. You know, it's just another turning point. It is. It's another... It's another... Um, step in your ascension there's been it, it appears that some of you are you you you're lacking control you're lacking control or you're wanting to control other people's thoughts or whatever the case is but you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't control the changes that are happening. Everything happens for a reason as well. I think things are happening really, really fast for you as well. I think that you're evolving very, very fast. Um, and the thing is, is there's certain doors that need to be closed. And in order for those doors to be closed, uh, circumstances have to come about to make you close those doors. So... You know, there is some closure that is going to happen. There is. But but this closure doesn't happen. You have to, you have to, it's kind of like, you know, true suffering brings growth. So I feel like something has happened that, that hurt you internally. I think it was words. Somebody said something or you've been getting multiple people that you feel are against you. Okay. You know, it's hurt your your ego okay it has it's hurt your ego it's hurt your pride and i feel like at this time you're suffering because of this other person's or these other people's opinions and it feels like this has was needed to happen so that you could find the strength the the renewed strength that to make you stronger than you were even before for lack of a better word i feel like you needed to give something up let something go and you probably didn't know you needed to let it go until this happened okay so it's, it's crazy it is you know I think that something harsh happens very harshly that pushes you in a new direction because you were clinging to the old one for so long that so this had to happen to move you forward and I know that I'm not explaining it very well but that's what I'm getting. I'm going to get some clarifiers after I zoom this in. It's time to get creative, Sagittarius. The very first card. You need to get creative. Okay. The basis of your reading this week is you have, you have a choice. You have a choice. Do you choose to be weak? Do you choose to let pride get in the way? Or do you choose to free yourself from this mentality and release and let go? What do you choose? You have a, you have a new door. You have a new doorway opening for you. If you choose... To not let hurt hinder you. I think you're thinking about the changes that you need to make in your life. And you're thinking about, you're really in your head, you are, you're really in your head thinking about whatever this person, whatever these people or peop or persons said to you, whatever, whatever has happened, you're really in your head, you're in your head about um, whatever has happened and it's caused, it's really, your, your ego and pride has been hurt and I, I absolutely can see that. I feel as though, you know, this, this was meant to happen to move you forward. It really was, it really was. 
So I'm going to get some clarifiers here. Other people, how other people see you, other people see that you are are, are hurt, but hurt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, how other people see you. Other people see that your self-esteem and your ego has been hurt. They see that. They see that. But they also see that you're strong. They see that you have strength. They see that you're a noble person. They see that you have skills. They see that you're very, you're a leader. They see that. They see that you're a leader. They see that you, you are strong. But they also see that at this time, your ego is hurt. Your pride is hurt. They see that. Your challenge position is the hurt that you're going through. You're hurt. You're suffering from something. Somebody has brought you some pain. And they brought in this pain, pain, you know, true suffering brings growth. Growth was needing to happen. And typically, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry to give you this message. I'm sure a lot of you already know this. People don't grow or they don't change unless it hurts. Okay. I mean, that's, a, that's pretty much a fact. People change through difficult circumstances. Typically, okay. So, we're going to get some clarifiers now. The outcome is you letting it go. Just letting it go. That's the outcome. Giving up. Letting go of the fear and the doubt. I'm not going to doubt myself anymore. That's the outcome. Letting go, letting go of the doubt, letting go of the fear. Remembering who you are and how far you've come. I'm not going to let you hold me back. I'm not. I'm going to keep doing me. That's the outcome. You are, you are at a place, the challenge, I'm going to put this in the challenge, you were at a place where things weren't, weren't progressing, they weren't moving forward, they were stalled, it was like there was no changes happening in your life. So therefore, this had to happen so that the, the wheel would spin, so that, so that change could happen. Right around the corner, this difficult period that you're going through is going to dissipate, it is going to dissolve. You are going to come out of this darkness very quickly. This isn't going to last. This will pass. Okay. You are going to come out of this dark period that you're going through. It's just minor right around the corner. Okay. But right now, you're being tested. I consider the Knight of Pentacles a test. This is a test of your strength and your willpower. The advice is to, this is your advice position. Your advice is to uh, kick it into high gear. Speak your mind. Tell it like it is. Keep going. Don't quit. Do what's right for you. Have no fear. Have no fear. Your path is yours and nobody else's. You can't control other people's opinions. That's their ego. Get out of your head. That's your advice. Get out of your head. It's time you needed to make a conscious change. There was some things that needed to be let go of. There were some things that needed to be dropped. 
this whatever has happened to bring you backwards or down or to that hurt your pride happened so that you could deal with the baggage and drop it and make conscious changes in your life so that you could free yourself from some sort of inner burden You guys were probably going through a period of repression. And when you go through a period of repression, it's for a reason. It's so you can become aware and make changes for your own growth. Okay. I feel like there was a, uh, like you guys have been going through a period of loss of self. And this needed to happen. So that you could regain your focus and your concentration. So that you could bring back the passion that you once had for life. So, you know, that's the universe works in mysterious ways. So I think that, that something has happened that, that really... Um, affected your inner well-being it, it hurt your pride it hurt your ego and that needed to happen so that you could find your strength so i feel like this is a week of making conscious changes that are going to propel you forward in a new direction i see you guys have a new path opening right in front of you that will make you feel very very liberated and free i see a lot of freedom here freedom it's a week of becoming free of past um, insecurities. Somebody was stuck. Not moving forward. They were. Somebody watching this was completely stuck. There was no forward movement. And the universe is like looking, looking down at you and saying, What? We know you can do better than that. You are refusing to make any moves. Refusing to take any new approaches. Refusing to make any changes. Therefore, the universe throws you this curveball. That hurts because hurt forces change. It's a sad situation, but it's the truth. So I feel like this is a week bringing balance and harmony back to your life and holding on to who you are. Holding on. You guys have been resisting change and I feel like this is a week of Remembering who you are, really. Remembering where you come from. You know, this could also be a week of unity, of love. There could be a new exciting opportunity opening right up for you. Something that is daring. It's daring you to be great. You have a new daring, exciting opportunity being presented to you. And maybe all of this happened to make you stronger so that you could accept this new opportunity. To get you ready.
I feel as though you could be, you could be, receiving some sort of invitation or message that leads you to love, whether it's a, a love partner or a loving job or whatever it is, it leads you to happiness, it leads you to peace, it leads you to harmony. And it's exciting. It is. But you're going to have to act on your hunches. And perhaps in the past, you weren't strong enough to act on your hunches. Some of you. Some of you were, were too scared. Too scared to, to see things from a new approach. Too scared to, to uh, resisting change too much. Reluctant, reluctant to change. And I feel that's why why this this whatever it is happened, why you were going through this this struggle that you've been going through. Because you weren't following your intuition, you weren't listening, you weren't making moves, you weren't moving forward, you were stalled, you were stuck, you were um, in a place of stagnation. It's like you weren't there was no energy. There was a lack of courage, a lack of strength, a lack of passion, and therefore, you know, something had to happen um, prominent to give you that kick in the ass. So I feel like this is a week where the spark probably comes back. Hopefully. Maybe you went through a period of not wanting to be held accountable. There's also some karma here, okay? This is a karmic test of your strength, your willpower, and your courage to keep going despite other people's opinions I really feel like this is about opinions and I feel like this is about you being stuck in a rut and not moving forward so I feel like there has been some sort of harsh communication opinions that have been received by you you've received them that is forcing you to head in a new direction towards success, to take the lead in your own life, to find that passion that was lost for a period of time. So I feel like this is a week of going down a new path that you've been resisting. You have been. You've been resisting this new path like crazy. Because it's, I don't know why. You, you're, you've you been clinging to the past. You have. It, it's, it's time for you to turn away. It's time to, for you to, for, to turn away from this instability, this insecurity, this this... inconsistency, whatever it is. There's been a lack of, of financial growth here. There's been a lack of security, big time, whatever this is. This is so confusing. And I feel like you guys have been very, very confused with the changes that are happening. You may be feeling like this has been really unfair. It's not fair. It's not fair that I'm going through this. But when you're going through some sort of karmic test, it's not about being fair. It's about getting you to change. Some of you have been clinging to the past ways, clinging to 
um, this unharmonious situation, this unhappiness that you've been living in because you, you just couldn't see the light and it feel, you didn't have the energy. But it feels like this is a week of, of finding that strength that's been so lost. Or you may continue to, to suffer. You know, it's all up to you. The choice is yours. The basis of the reading is the choice of yours. I mean, the choice is truly yours. Some of you will move forward and look at this as a time of liberation, a time of freedom. This is an exciting new adventure for me. For some of you, there's an exciting new adventure right around the corner. It's coming. It's going to lead to happiness. It's going to be something that you absolutely love. For some of you, you are going to con continue to do an injustice to yourself by hanging on to something that doesn't serve you. Okay? So it goes both ways. There's, there's two scenarios here. Some of you are going to move on. You're going to find the strength. Some of you are going to take the lead. Some of you are not. Some of you may have to turn away from a family situation. I'm just saying. Some of you may have to actually, you know, there's been some family feuds. There's, there's been some feuds in the workplace. You're going to have to turn away from it. You're going to have to walk away. You may have to change your job. You may have to change your, your home circumstances. There could be a change. Because there hasn't been any peace. There hasn't been any harmony. There hasn't been any balance in that situation. Therefore, it is time to complete a cycle. And there is completions, completions, completions. Completion, completion, completion. They're all reversed. Something needed to end. Therefore, you needed to feel it to make it end. So I feel like something has happened so that you could end one cycle of your life and begin a new, exciting adventure. So Sagittarius, I feel like there is an end to something um, that is going to change your life for the better. All right, this difficult period of stagnation that you have been in is just about over. You're about to restore control to your life. You're freeing yourself from something that was toxic. Regaining the control that's been lost. This is a week of personal freedom. Sagittarius, it is. It is. That is. That is what this week is about. It's a week of personal freedom. I am free. So whoever it was that pushed you over the edge, you should thank them. Because you're about to find something that is much more compatible with you. Talk to you later.